too. Because this oh. is a big reservoir. I guess they couldn't figure out a name. So it's the big reservoir. No, big meadows. Oh, big they meadows. Did figure out a name. <laughs> it's Big Meadows Reservoir. I thought it was Big Reservoir. Sorry. The Big Reservoir Campground. Big Meadows. I said that again. <laughs> I've said Big Reservoir because it's just a big reservoir. But Big Meadows Reservoir. Big Meadow Campground. Big Meadow Reservoir Campground. <laughs> Big Meadow Campground. Big Meadow Reservoir Campground. <laughs> I'll get it right one of these times. What's for dinner? I'm hungry. Oh, we're having wild caught salmon. Alaskan salmon. Mushrooms and asparagus. It's already chopped up. We're going to cook the fish. I, I tell you, we eat like royalty when we're camping. All right, what are we doing? Ask. Okay, so I just went to the trailer. Yes. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. And you look like you have bear spray. <laughs> you gave me so much grief about having bear spray. And why do you have bear spray right now? Because I was just in the bathroom and they have a sign on the back of the door. That says? That says, bear country, proper storage of food, which... We have, but no cooking around your campsite. Close. Okay, we cook in our we campsite. Cook. We cooked in our tent. Now on, we'll be cooking outside of the tent. Did you say you wanted some water? Did you want it ice water? <laughs> oh my gosh, is it ice? <laughs> There's ice in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you want like an iced tea this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Again, check elevation before you book your campsite. <laughs> we had a little dusting, tiny, tiny, tiny dusting of snow yesterday. Hey, but we're making ice. What's the big? It's, and, we just dump it in the cooler. Yeah, we're good to go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not me now, but that was me about four o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah, it was chilly this morning. Seventeen again. So. That's what the wind chill was, was yes. 17. Yes. So, so today we are going to go on what is called the Silver Thread Scenic Byway. Hadn't heard of it before, so and we've never been on it, so I'm really excited. It goes from South Fork up through Creed, Lake City, and you can go all the way up to Gunnison. But what's our route today? Our, our route, it, we're going to leave here and go to South Fork and then go up 149. And we'll make it as far as Lake City. And from what the people we've talked to here locally in this campground we're at, um, they're saying there's really nothing after Lake City to Gunnison. But that's part of the Silver Thread. So we're going to go from South Fork to Lake City and hit those mountains. There's several. There's two waterfalls I know of. Uh, there's Creed, Colorado. 
And then um, there's a couple of old towns, I think, maybe possibly some old buildings and stuff. I know there is one place where one guy, Elford something or other, in the late 1800s, oh, yeah, went up a... there with his companions and then he ate them. He, yeah, he <laughs> went up there with five people. And it, there's a there's a placard there for this massacre. I know, I want to find that. I guess he... I, I guess he got hungry. Well, the rumor, the rumor I mean, I don't know is, what the deal is. The rumor is, according to another camper here we talked to, he, he stoved their heads in with a shovel. Oh, and then he that's came. A, that's a visual. <laughs> Are we he, sure we want that? And then he, he yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and then he, at some point, wandered back to town looking very well fed. <laughs> yeah, none of his buddies. <laughs> come to find out he ate them. Or yeah. ate some of them, I don't know. Man. We'll see what the placard says. Yep. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to put the liner back in my HWK riding jacket because at 9,300 feet, it's really cold here. We're going to go on a ride. I know we're going to gain some elevation, go over some mountain passes, which is cool, but I don't want to be cold. And I'm actually glad because I wasn't going to bring this liner, and I'm really glad I didn't because I was thinking, hey, for June, what do I need this for? It's going to be 100 degrees. <laughs> no, no, it's not. And there was snow on the ground this morning, so... So I'm going to put the liner in, and I just want to give a shout out to um, HWK. I did a review on this jacket a while ago, and that could be over here if you're interested. But I did the review, and I hadn't used the jacket. No, I'm not going to do that again. So next time I'm certainly going to get a product and use it and then give a review. However, I can now go on record to say that I absolutely love this motorcycle jacket. Um, it's great for cold weather because I could put the liner in for hot weather, take the liner out, open up the vents, and I'm good to go and I feel extra protected just in case, you know, something happens. So here we go. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. What are you doing, Chris? I'm reading about Creed. This town, do you know in 1890 it was growing 300 people a day were coming here? <laughs> I know, isn't that crazy? And, and there was at least 10,000 people here at, at one, one time. time. The silver strike only lasted for three years here, but at one point they were bringing out a million dollars of silver a month. And this was back in when? 18? 1890. So what's yeah. what's that in today's money? Yeah. yeah. A million dollars in 1890? Oh my gosh, that's a... Yeah. yeah. There was and a lot of people making money back then. Yeah, and the fact that it was growing so fast. 300 people a day. I mean, that was just like... But it didn't last very long, if I remember three right. Three years. Three years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 300 people a day for three years. And I guess it, it went up 
and went down just as fast. It went up to 10,000 in 1890 and then it went down to 900 in 1890, by 1893, the end of 1893. <laughs> but the silver boom was literally that fast. Yes, it was over. Wow. Should we go inside and get an iced tea? Fat coat. I wonder how old this is. What do you think it's made out of? Oh, it could be bear or something. And they yeah. shot him in this jacket. But he had a leather notebook in his pocket, heavy leather, mm -hmm. and it stopped the muzzle loader bullet. And uh, he won the day and mm -hmm. ran them off or killed them, whatever. And so I bought this jacket and I've had it in here ever since. And the next summer, his grandson come back out and he lived in Florida and he said, I've got that notebook, shows where that muzzle loader slug was. So he gave him right here in the. Well, somewhere in the chest. Yeah. 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 And he said, uh, you know, he said, I was going to take the jacket, but he said, I knew it wouldn't fare in Florida. Hey, how was it? Good journey. Yeah. You uh, be safe up there. Should be right here. Camping. Right here to the left. To the left? Uh huh. I just saw a sign. Yeah. This right one? Left. Yeah. It's a dirt road. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I saw a sign that said South Clear Creek. I'm guessing it said Falls, but yeah, I thought it was on the right, but no, we'll go we'll go up here a little bit. North is on the north is on the right. I thought South was on the left, but I might have a <laughs> I might have told you to take a wrong turn. Got us boondocking, do you? Yeah. Because I thought South Clear Creek Falls was like relatively right off the road. Man, I'm glad we don't have a trailer back here. Okay. Uh, I'm not crazy about this turnaround. It's okay. I'm not crazy about any turnaround. I know, you're never crazy about turning around in the dirt. But you're good. We're just inching along. I know. I'm watching for cars, so keep coming. You're good. You ready? Almost. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not fond about the washboard. Ooh. It really bye bike handles them really well. I mean, like, I hardly feel them. Well, Lottie, <laughs> Lottie, Lottie frickin' da. <laughs> I got my GP, my, uh, my C9. <laughs> Another one you're going to have to peep out. Yeah. Over there at least park, my, my Cena's battery is low, so I need to plug it in. Hopefully my other battery is charged up. Uh, I just don't think we're in the right spot. Silver Thread Campground. Bear country, fee area. Maybe I dropped the pin in the wrong spot, but. Decide to have a picnic here. Yeah, this is the way to do that. This one is a... Well, since it's not that crowded, we can hop to our good spaces. Instead of jockeying it.
so they built this, and it took 36 hours to travel 85 miles. <laughs> I know, for $16. Yeah, sick. that's a huge amount of money. Yeah. Wow. And they say there's a bird, there's a waterfall bird that nests in there in the mist up against the cliffs. Oh, wow. And sometimes the birds will build their nest behind the waterfall, so they had to fly through the waterfall to get to their nest. Wow. Yeah, isn't that pretty wild? Yeah. That's what Andy was saying. What is this? This is, it says, this tablet erected in memory of Israel Swan, George Noon, Frank Miller, James Humphreys, and Wilson Bell, who were murdered on this spot early in the year 1874 while pioneering for mineral resources of the San Juan County. Is this the same spot where the dude ate him? Yeah. You can't read. It's this is 
Alfred, Al Alfred. Alfred Parker? Yeah, but it became lost in a severe snowstorm. It's all pretty gone, but I like this one. You man-eating son of a bitch. There were seven Democrats in Hillsdale County, and you ate five of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's nine years later, Packer was captured in Wyoming and returned to Colorado. Sentenced to prison for 40 years. Paroled after 15 in 1901. Maintained his innocence. <laughs> I didn't do it. shot of us serving up stir-fry rice chicken and yum and uh, zucchini yummy <laughs> i'm glad our meals are they don't look simple <clears throat> but they're really simple they're really simple yeah chicken um zucchini and some rice mm -hmm. didn't take but what 30 minutes mm -hmm. i am during that 30 minutes Washed we had a, we took a tree towel we took a tree shower <laughs> yeah washed her hair man cleaned up a little bit yeah did 176 miles today on the silver thread <laughs> byway from from south fork to lake city is where we went mm -hmm. it was actually a pretty nice road it wasn't as technical as i thought it was going to be mm-hmm I mean, it's a good, fast, it's a big, fast road, you know? Mm -hmm. Some real, some hairy, you know, corners and some tight corners and stuff when you're going down the hill, but you get yeah. up to 11,800 feet. There's more. Ta-da. Oh, I forgot stuff. No. At the Big Meadow <laughs> Reservoir Campground is where we're going, or where we're leaving. Mm -hmm. We're leaving it, and we're gonna do our best to get, we're, we're gonna try for a place, what's it called, that's called Lower Piedra Campground, right? Yes. And it's about, what did he say, two miles off of 160, just west of Pagosa Springs. Yes. And we're, it's a first come, first serve place, so. We're keeping our fingers crossed because it only has 17 sites, so we're hoping that it's not a very popular campground. We under, we did talk to a ranger on the phone and they said it was a very pretty campsite. So this is actually the first time, do you know, this is the first time that we're gonna be venturing out with no reservation. No, oh, fantastic. I like that. <laughs> That's good because now we got no reservation. We can stay when we want and leave yes. when we want, you know. Yes, but so we're going to make a pit stop in Pagosa Springs and try to hit up the ranger station because just in case all 17 sites are full, we feel like we, we need, need to have a, a couple. B. Easy. Easy. 